All right, so I got this car trailer here and uh, wanted to add some D-rings. I got these three quarter inch, 9,000 pound working load limit weld on D-rings here. And uh, let's just kind of give you some ideas, you know, if, if cause I was looking to do this and there was no good videos online. Um, this frame channel, the C-channel frame right here, this width, it could have worked to weld this straight onto it, but it was pushing it like, it's about the same width. And I, I didn't feel real comfortable about it. So all I did was I got some of this square tubing, drill thick walled, um, welded it straight to the large part of the frame here. Welded it, you know, all four corners. And uh, got that on there. And that gave me more surface area here to weld this um mounting part of the d-ring onto so i just welded it there you know went into the corners and uh fully welded the back side there i just kind of eyeballed it you know about where a car tire would be this is for the front here did the same thing on the other side and uh yeah, just about wherever you think a car tire would be. This is the easiest solution that I could think of to for a mounting surface that would still be really strong. Because, you know, you could just put a piece of flat plate here, but that's not going to be real strong for a pulling force. Um, but this thick-walled square tubing, fully welded all the way around, that's, you know, that's damn near stronger than this C-channel frame. So you're basically strongest point is this D shackle here and uh for the back I'm undecided of what I'm gonna do you know they make those um recessed you know you use a hole saw through your wood deck they got the re recessed D rings and um I'm probably gonna do that but on the bottom I'll just add a really large piece you know I don't know 12 by 12 inches um of plate steel real thick plate steel just so it'll never move around or wallow out and uh that'll be what i do for the back they do if you weren't aren't familiar northern tool does make a um stake pocket insert it's a real heavy built insert that goes down into the stake pocket and it's got a clip real big like three quarter inch clip on the bottom and it has a d-ring on the top so that would be one solution. But I figure if you weld them on the front, you may as well permanently mount them on the back. Because like I said, this is a car trailer. It's not a utility trailer. So that's just some food for thought. If um, anybody was thinking about these weld-on style D-rings, there you go. Real simple. I think Amazon, I'll have to measure this square tubing. Um, Amazon makes a plug. I don't feel like cutting a uh, steel cap. I'll just put a rubber insert into those. Maybe put a spare lug nut or something in there. But uh, there you go. Didn't take a whole lot of time. Real easy.